We're celebrating 30 years with 30 wishes. Your daughter Abby wrote in to 30 wishes on your behalf. And I want you to hear what she had to say about you. Selfless, that's the word that I use to describe my mother. Brenda has often gone without personal wants or needs in order to provide for others. She went without clothes for work in order to make sure her daughter would not get picked on. She went without the special facial lotion that keeps her from breaking out in order to make sure her husband could afford his medicine. But one thing she has got to stop overlooking is her hearing. She's been to doctors who wanted to get hearing aids or have expensive surgery, but in true Brenda fashion, she ignores her own needs to ensure she can provide for someone else down the road. I'm Carmen, I'm your personal shopper. It's nice to meet you. Carmen. Was he saying he was taking you shopping? Yeah. Actually, you're not going shopping today. We have something else for you. Do you want to be the one to tell her? We'll bring okay. Come on over. <laughs> so we uh, we want to let you know that you are the recipient uh -huh. of wish number twenty. <laughs> <laughs> My mother's very tender-hearted. One of our favorite things to do is stay seated at the table after a family dinner. This is an exciting time of talking about homes, careers and the possibility of having grandbabies. I want her to be able to confidently hear what we discuss and keep up with the family news. So my wish for my mom is hearing aids. I want to give her something she needs to show that her selflessness has paid off. That's from your daughter, Abby. Brenda, how do you feel? <laughs> your daughter has written in and she wants this for her mother. What a parent payday. I mean, that she, tells you right there that you're her everything. She, she's my heart, her, her and her sister both. This shouldn't happen to somebody like me. No, that, that is not true. That is not true. It should happen to someone like you. I can tell just by the 30 seconds that I've known you. There are a couple of people who are helping make this possible. As a matter of fact, uh, there's a foundation called the Starkey Foundation, and they decided to to uh, dive in with both feet to make sure that you could get what you need. And then the ENT Institute, which is where we are today, and decided that they wanted to be a part of this too. So, I think it's official. Brenda, you're the recipient of wish number 20. Thank you so much. Brenda, I'm Beth Ann. I work at the ENT Institute, and we are so thrilled to have you here today and to be able to along with the Starkey Foundation, provide these hearing aids for you. Hi. Yes, ma'am. I'm sitting in the office with a wonderful group of people at 93.3. Uh, 93. How, how did you end up there? I've, I've got the morning crew. Hi, Abby. Hi there. I appreciate everything you do, baby. You make me proud. <laughs> I love you, Mama. I love you, baby. I love you, Mama. You're, you're my heart. This is a blessing from God. There's no other way to explain it. We've tried over the years to be able to do something about her ears, and something would always come up. There's, there's no what, there's no other way to explain it. God, God has has stepped in here and said, "Okay, it's time." And, and it's time for him to do what we can't do.